Well, if you're a fan of the 1987 movie Princess Bride or the 2004 movie Napoleon Dynamite, then check out Hawaii Theater celebrating 100 years in business with a full calendar of events. Here's Kamaka Pili with more. Picture this. Back in September of 1922, the Hawaii Theater Center opens to the public to provide them entertainment to the community. And imagine 100 years later, that still continues and really stepping into a new chapter. So to find out more about this celebratory year for the Hawaii Theater Center, we're here with its president and CEO, Gregory Dunn. Thank you very much. And congratulations. 100 years is a huge milestone. But if you don't mind painting a little picture 100 years ago, how did this theater come about? So the uh, Cohen and the Magoon families, the owners of Consolidated Amusements at the time, started their planning in 1915 to open the theater in 1920. It was created to be a grand showplace for the city and county of Honolulu, and at the time, the territory of Hawaii, to be the pride of the Pacific. We think they did a phenomenal job, and we're grateful to all of the volunteers that helped restore the facility and reopen it in 1996. That's amazing. And, I, you know, speaking of reopening, in a sense, we're, we're getting through this pandemic, and I have to congratulate the Hawaii Theater because you survived, and you're slowly starting to become a lot busier, I'm seeing, with events and what's planned for the future. So if you don't mind sharing a little bit about your experience of progressing through this pandemic, and has it uh, shifted your mind or, or shifted your operations and how to move forward into the next 100 years? Definitely. We worked over the pandemic to create live stream and digital content programming that expanded our brand across the world. We had over 270 performances reaching over 3.5 million people. Put into context, we normally would only serve 100,000 people a year in person at the theater. So now we're generating more content and programming for the rest of the year. One thing that I'm starting to see more frequent coming from the Hawaii Theater is events that is screening movies, but also having the opportunity to talk to its, its actors. And I know coming up, we have Princess Bride and also Napoleon Dynamite, which is 15 years already since that come out. But what is expected for the future, and especially for centennial events? Well, definitely we have the Princess Bride in August and Napoleon Dynamite in September, where our audience will be able to come in, watch the movie together, relive some old laughs, and then have a Q&A session with both Carrie Elwes at Princess Bride and Napoleon Dynamite cast members. There are going to be three of the actors that will be in town. So we're going to be doing more interactive engagements. And then as part of our centennial, one of the spectacular keynotes that we're going to be doing is the Hawaiian culture event. So we're working with cultural practitioners to put together a weekend program. We hope people will go to the website, check it out, and get tickets to support your nonprofit local Hawaii theater. Awesome. Well, thank you again very much, Greg. Really appreciate this. A great place to come and visit. And again, if you haven't visited this place so far, you have to come down. It's a very historic, but just to note that Napoleon Dynamite turning 15 years, that makes me feel really old. That's depressing. <laughs> to find out more information and what's to come here at the Hawaii Theater Center, visit our website, khon2.com. Kamakopili with KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.